In your mentored training, where you start watching the videos will depend on what experience you have and what your current setup is on your computer that you're working off of. So in this video, what I'm going to do is introduce you to the various collections and give you a sense of what kind of experience is needed and what you'll be achieving in each one of those collections. The first collection that you see here is called Build Your First Drupal 7 Website. This collection is for site building, so this doesn't involve any code or programming. You'll be doing everything through the interface of Drupal. That is, for the most part, you'll be pointing and clicking and filling out forms and learning about the basic structure of Drupal, things like nodes, taxonomy, content types. And in the process, you'll develop a full website from start to finish. You'll use modules like Views and Path Auto, which are very common for virtually any Drupal installation. This collection also gets into some more advanced topics like using CSS and configuring a WYSIWYG editor. If you're coming to the mentor training without any experience in Drupal, it might be a good idea to actually start at the very beginning of this collection. These last two videos will show you how to install Drupal on a Mac or Windows using a platform called Bitnami. What this will do is allow you to install Drupal like a desktop application simply by running an installer program and at the end you'll have a Drupal installation. Now if you've come to this training with a Drupal installation already set up on your computer, you don't have to go through these steps. However, if you use a different distribution like the Acquia stack, you might find that some of these steps are a little bit different, that the interface looks a bit different in a couple of the videos. Now the videos in this collection build on one another, so you'll probably want to start at the beginning if you don't have something specific that you're trying to tackle. With any of these collections, it's a good idea to read through the index of videos, just read through these, so you can get a sense of what you'll be covering, and also if there's anything in particular that you want to focus on during the training. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the next collection here. This next one is called Drupal 7 Development Core Concepts. In this collection, it focuses on coding for Drupal. And in most cases, this means building specific modules to provide custom functionality or make certain adjustments to Drupal. Each chapter focuses on a certain aspect of Drupal that you'll be modifying through certain APIs in Drupal. For most people, this collection requires some understanding of PHP to get started. Now, it's also a great way to learn PHP if you're willing to feel a little bit overwhelmed at first. But if you come to this training knowing some PHP, you should be able to get started with this process and learn how to build some basic modules. Now, for the most part, each one of these chapters builds its own module, so they're more standalone than the Build Your First Drupal 7 website collection is, and so it's a little bit easier to skip around. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the next collection here. This next one is called Change Management and Version Control. In this collection, we talk about how to use the Git version control system, how to get all of your configuration pieces into code so you can get them version controlled, how to upgrade Drupal and patch Drupal and Drupal's modules, and how to work in a team environment with a common code base. Now, for the most part, this collection will be valuable to developers and themers, people who will be working with code. That being said, you can follow these videos without any knowledge of code whatsoever. The videos will take you clearly through the process of learning the command line, learning how to use the command line to use Git, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the next collection. This collection is called Drupal Theming Essentials, and it's for Drupal 7. In this collection, we talk about all of the various ways that you can modify output in Drupal to customize it to look exactly the way you want it to. In it, we build a full theme from scratch. We also show you how to properly adjust existing themes by either creating sub-themes or cloning a theme. And we also get into some more advanced topics, like adding custom settings to a theme. This is a great collection to start with if you have some basic understanding of PHP code and have a desire to adjust the output or the visual aspects of Drupal. And again, just like with the Drupal 7 development core concepts collection, while an understanding of PHP will be very useful, you can also use these collections in order to learn PHP. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the next collection. Drupal 6 Development and Tools covers the core of what you see in the Drupal 7 Development Core Concepts and the Theming Essentials, but for Drupal 6, it also covers some basics in PHP, such as working with PHP arrays and functions, 
So some of these videos can be a good starter if you're not really a coder, you don't have any experience with PHP, but you wouldn't mind getting started in that direction. There's also information here about writing secure code, which can be useful for any version of Drupal, and also how to use a debugger in Drupal. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the last collection here. This is working with files in the file API. This is a Drupal 7 collection as well. In this collection, what we do is look at how to work with files within a module. So these are situations where you're going to take an upload from a user and do something with it. We look at managed and unmanaged files, what the difference is between the two. We look at how to use private files. And we cover some more complex topics like how to use certain Apache modules in order to improve the performance of private files. This is a more niche collection. It's going to be more useful for people who are definitely going to be working with files. But it's also very interesting. There's some great things in here where if you learn them, you may find yourself bringing them into future modules and future projects simply because you didn't know they were there to begin with. That just about covers it. If you have any questions about where to start, what collection might be right for you, feel free to flag down a mentor and let them know kind of where you're at and what you're looking for and they can point you in the right direction.